Let's do it. What's up, JD Aliens? Hey, I decided to stop by real quick and show y'all some new super coolness from DJI. So the Ronin SE has been out for a long time. Well, this year anyways. And even though I reviewed other gimbals, it still remains my go-to gimbal for some reason. I, I'm just attached to it. Anyways, I finally got this update and it's probably been out for a while. I finally got this update though that added some super cool features to it. By the way, since I'm using my main shooter as my uh, demonstration here, I'm shooting this video on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus using the rear facing camera on auto. I didn't feel like doing all the pro mode settings. So I hope this is focusing well and everything. Plus you get like kind of a, a wide scale view of my setup here. Just a little sneak peek of my little setup here for those of y'all who have been curious. But let's get into this app, man. Let's see what this app has brought to the table. So if you open up the Ronin app, okay, my motors are paused. What it brings to the table is more stability. Of course, they're always working on stability. But if you see here, now they've added Force Mobile, finally. And they've also added Gaming Controller and, oh, I'm sorry, Active Track Pro. This is now Active Track Pro. So while the Active Track Pro has been upgraded a little bit, I don't want to focus on that today. Today, we're going to focus on Force Mobile and the Gaming Controller because that's the super exciting stuff. Did you know you can use your uh, PlayStation or Xbox controller, and in my case, a Steel Series, what is this, the Steel Series Stratus XL controller to control your Ronin? Now, before you used to have to kind to you know use the virtual joystick and do all this stuff through your phone and that was cool i really enjoyed it and it was really a great utility to have but now we can go into this right here let's so let's unpause these motors can you see this gimbal right here let's unpause these motors and i've already connected it so what you got to do is you got to connect the controller via bluetooth let me go in here bluetooth you see it's it's connected steel series stratus xl then we'll go back into the app into this layout right here. Now you can control the speed of the pan, tilt and roll axis. Uh, let's take the roll completely off because I don't want it rolling. And then you can even control the smooth. So I've already leveled mine down a little bit. And then you can actually use the gaming controller to uh, zoom and focus. And it tells you, it kind of gives you a map of what the buttons are gonna be right here. So far, the controls are not editable by the user, but by default, they're laid out pretty good. So the Y, which is gonna be the M, that's gonna change your modes. The X is gonna operate your camera shutter. The B is gonna activate uh, the video recording. And uh, the A is gonna be to recenter. This joystick right here is gonna control your roll. And this one right here is gonna control your pan and tilt. So let's get into it. I've already got it set up. So let's just go ahead and, and uh, tilt real quick. You see that it's tilting. Can you see that? That is so cool. So we can also pan. Oh man, that is freaking sweet. You know what, let me turn this roll on real quick. Let me show you how I get my roll on. Let me turn it up to about 36. All right, so now I can roll and get my roll on and my pan on. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh, let me put that right there. Okay, so let's tilt. Let's tilt. Let me let me look at you looking at me. Yeah, there you go. All right, so you can see that that tilt and that pan going. Oh man, that is so slick. All right, so I don't even have the camera on, but let me go ahead and recenter it by pressing the A button. Just a one tap and it recenters itself. So now it's been recentered. That is so freaking cool. Let me demonstrate that one more time. So all right, so it's all out of whack right now. So if I hit A one time, it's not a double click. You just hit A one time and it starts to center itself. And uh, let's see here, let me turn the camera on so you guys can see that it will actually uh, control the shutter and record if you need it to. Okay, so you can see right there, I'm aiming at my ring light. Let me take this controller. X is going to be my shutter button for taking pictures and B is going to be my video button. So let's go ahead and take a quick picture. All right, let's take another one. And now let's start a video, B. And when you want to stop the video recording, B again. Ah, what a great utility. One last piece for the controller functionality. Y will actually toggle between your modes here. So right now I'm in mode number two. Let's go ahead and check that out. I'll hit the Y button and it'll go into vortex mode and it switches. You see how it switched there? And then I'll go into one, which I believe I have it set to pan follow. And then number two is where I usually keep it at. And that's just follow right there. So yes, using your controller is, man, this is so sweet, man. This is gonna come in so handy with some B-roll shots to where you don't have to use your phone or you know have the gimbal in your hand and stuff like that. This is, this is nice, man. But last but not least, let's go into Force Mobile. Let's go ahead and click that. So you actually have to toggle this on or off. So right now, as I move my phone in any direction, my uh, gimbal is not following those movements. But as soon as I hit Enable Force Mobile, 
it's enabled. So now you'll see <laughs> that's that's freaking cool, man. <laughs> that is so cool. So yes, you can do all of that. Right now, I do not have it set. You know what? Let's go ahead and recenter. Let me hit that button. It recenters and it kind of calibrates itself with the orientation of my phone. So when I go left, it goes left, up, down, right, left. I do not have roll activated. So let me go ahead and bring this roll up to just, uh, let's put it at 28. So now I can roll, but right now I don't feel like I have a lot of control and you can set this to whatever you want, but I don't like to use roll because it just really throws my shot off. Let's recenter and then we're back to all of this craziness. All right, guys, that's really all I wanted to show y'all regarding the new app updates and stuff. I just think it's super cool and a great utility to have. Uh, via the app and your smartphone and a controller if you choose to use one. Don't forget to follow my other two channels and my social media, man. And if you had a good time checking out these new features with me, let me, let me get my buddy involved here. Did y'all have a good time? Yeah, you had a good time. <laughs> that is so freaking cool, man. Anyways, man, throw the emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where are you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?